Oh, I wanted to talk about this with you guys. I saw this and, oh, did y'all see? There's some more Spider-Man No Way Home concept art. It feels like every other month we get more. And I need to know what you guys thought if this would have happened. So here we have, okay, I guess uh, this is where they're coming from. We had a storyboard artist who did concept art for Spider-Man No Way Home. And it looks like there were going to be scenes in the movie where Doctor Strange and Tom Holland's Spider-Man were going to be traveling to different universes and having a fight. You remember that scene where Spider-Man's trying to take the cube away from him and they're going into this, like, uh, what do they call the mirror dimension? Well, it wasn't going to be the mirror dimension at first. It was going to be them going universe to universe. So right here, we have them fighting in the clock tower with Gwen Stacy dead. Spider-Man and Doctor Strange were about to fight over the corpse of Gwen Stacy, okay? They're about to go, <laughs> cut to Gwen. Cut to Gwen. Oh, that that would have been peak? Would it not have been peak? That would have been insane of them to do. That would have been crazy. Next up here, they would have been fighting during the wrestling match that happened in Tobey Maguire's original Spider-Man. If they kept in the gay joke from that movie in 2023 or 2022 when this movie was released, the balls. The balls they would have had in there. That's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? Cancel, Toby. You're done. Get out of here. This would have been kind of fun to see. Uh, you could have had him, Toby, about to show up. But it also, like, messes up timeline-wise on when this movie takes place. Because watch. Not only are they traveling universe to universe, but they're also skipping ahead in time. So this is Spider-Man 1. Wrestling fight where it would have happened. 2021. Sorry. Thank you. Um, then we go to Spider-Man 2 where he's over here. Do I, I love you, you hear this. Give me rent. The give me rent guy would have been there. Chocolate cake girl. Can you imagine Dr. Strange in there fighting to Tom Holland in there punching? The guy turns to Dr. Strange and goes, You're a doctor? You need a room? Give me rent? Oh, what peak? Peak was missed, man. This would have been insane. I And I also don't think they would have even brought back the actors all of these scenes i think would have been like re-edited from actual moments of spider-man 2 3 1 or whatever because no way they'd bring them back just to do that one second scene like he's got his pants down right now so this is the scene where he comes out of the bathroom looking for to uh, for toby to give him rent cake girl and see here this is the church from um spider-man 3 so now we're going to three movies. They would have just been jumping through the timeline of Toby here. I'm debating whether this would have been awesome or just really bad fan service. Because you know what? I love that fight scene in Spider-Man No Way Home when they're in the mirror dimension. Because they do some really great things with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Spider-Man No Way Home did a lot to fix Tom Holland's Spider-Man or things that I didn't like about him. I felt like they never really truly showed his nerdy side. And in the mirror dimension, he defeats Doctor Strange by pulling out his nerdy side. He brings out, I don't know, geometry, I think it is. And he, like, gets him all wangled up and tag. Like, that was a great scene. And we would have missed out on that if it was just fan service jumping, jumping. But I'm not going to lie. I would have clapped. I would have been awesome. I would have been like, oh, my goodness. That's the church. Where's Toby? Is he taking off the symbiote right there? Was that the only one? Yeah. So, like, that's just insane. Were there any more? Here's another one. Oh, so Amazing Spider-Man 2. They would have jumped in on there. Again, it, like, maybe it would have been cool. It would have been cooler if we see them in the moment. But if not, it's just it's just fan service. It, I don't know if it would have worked as well seeing all of it go down. And this is just, again, a lot of concept art and changes that were supposed to happen in Spider-Man No Way Home. And the pandemic really ruined a lot of this. They made one of the most crucial Spider-Man movies at a time where, you know, you just couldn't do a lot. Like, the whole uh, Toby and Andrew being revealed inside, uh, what is it, um, Ned's grandma's, like, living room, that wasn't supposed to be where they were revealed. I think they had, like, bigger, more grand plans, but the pandemic, small spaces, limited crew, they ended up having to do the reveal inside a little grandma's room. And, you know, America Chavez was supposed to be the one opening the star portals to the different universes, but then they mixed the movies around, so then America Chavez didn't make sense to introduce her, so instead they gave Ned random magical powers. He's like, show me, Peter. And, like, a lot got ruined for Spider-Man Home because of the pandemic. 
Well, you could say ruined or fixed. You know, I, I, that's this was probably for the better that they cut out. I, I as much as I would have liked it, it just wouldn't have worked as well. But there was other. You, you guys have seen all the concept art before for Spider Man No Way Home, where it just. Oh, let's see if we can pop up any. Where like not everything they were planning was golden. Like you guys have seen whenever they had the um, the concept art for Green Goblin it was gonna have the Iron Man suit. I was like, oh, I don't think I would have loved that. Uh, Ned was gonna like ride the glider at one point. I'm like, maybe that would have been okay. Yeah, it's all just this. It's all just old. I mean, all this recent stuff. What the heck, Spider-Man No Way Home? That's not real concept art. I'm not gonna believe that. Look at that. Look, people are people still making. Look at that. Remember when people were making fake posters every day? <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. That is awesome. Those were the days, man. Oh, look at this. Look at another one. <laughs> This would have been canonically accurate if we got those scenes added on. Still wonder, you know, like Mysterio. The the rumor with Mysterio being added on is he was going to come from a universe where he actually did have magical powers and they weren't illusions and he was going to have a fight with Doctor Strange and Statue of Liberty. I don't see how that would have played into the movie, just randomly throwing him in there. Look, this is another one. Uh, Aunt May, he was going to go like, whoa, my, can you imagine being the concept artist who has to draw that? Tom Holland's crying face on a dying Aunt May. Days in the work. Days in the work. Let's see what else we got here. This was another one. Concept art for Tom Holland getting the black suit. Because you, Tom, Tom Hardy's Venom. He was in the universe. And they considered, should we make him part of the Sinister Six and round them all out? There, I remember there was like rumors that he could get the black suit. Toby would get the black suit. And then Andrew would finally get the black suit. But that's just that just would have been too much. They would have need to make No Way Home into two parts. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this nonsense. What is this? <laughs> Real concept art from Spider-Man No Way Home, man. This that doesn't even look like Tom Holland. <laughs> He's touching me, May. Let's see what else we got. Green Goblin. Oh, I still wish they did this. The concept art where they would have had the Goblin helmet on top of the glider. That would have been awesome. That's a real missed opportunity. Along with the the Toby versus um the Toby versus uh uh goblin fight that we never got, man. They thought about doing the goblin fight and we never got it. Such a lot of fake posters, man. This is the time. This was the time. But yeah, that's uh that's what we had going on in Spider-Man No Way Home World. I just wanted to show that off to you guys. All right, I got some couple more minutes before I have to get off. Let's see what else could we talk about, guys. What what was uh, what other movie news am I missing that I haven't talked about? With the news with the Daredevil was that they like filmed like four or five episodes. The Hollywood strike happened. They paused. Kevin Feige went to his cave where he has all his hats, the same way I have my Funko Pops, and sat down, watched those episodes, and Kevin Feige said, "You fired." He did not like it. He did not enjoy it. Got rid of the whole creative team. He's like, we're just going to make TV shows like TV shows and not movies broken up in parts. And this is their first step into doing that, hiring an actual showrunner. Now, they worked on The Punisher. I never got to finish The Punisher on Netflix. I remember liking the first couple episodes, and then life happened, and I never went back to them. Did, was The Punisher good or not? I've never seen it, but this show has a mature, but it shows how mature it'll be. Oh, that's true. With the Punisher? Yeah. With the Punisher people in there? Yeah. It's not as good, Daredevil, but it's still good. Okay, cool. That's good to know. That's good to know. 